Hello guys, welcome to another time out with me on the channel. My name is Alec Godwin if you meet me for the first time and today we are looking at this simple SD card, affordable SD card that can take your CISC resolutions, raw files up to 8K. For the project I have at hand, I will need the 6K Pro on a gimbal. Okay, pairing with the 12K which I'm using, the Orsa 12K which I'm using right now. I was trying to think about how best to get the best, how to get the best resolution, and not have to mount it, uh, mount a, um, uh, an external SSD on the camera, so I can get the, so I can get the most minimalistic um, rig setup. So I was looking for, actually looking for a CFAST card that is affordable that I can use. So I came across this SD card. So I got the card, 64 gig, and voila. This SD card that cost only 54 and some change, I think. I'll write the amount on the screen, but, but this card can record every format on the CISC Pro raw I mean slow motion every format you can every format you can think of on the CISC Pro 3 to 1 slow motion it takes everything sweet and sound the only downside is your time of recording will be small so you you probably just uh, have a few minutes, I write the amount of time for uh, the 64 gig at 3 to 1 compression, which I want to achieve. I think it's about 3 minutes actually. Uh, for me, it is what it like if I'm doing a gimbal shot, it probably not lasts more than 3 minutes anyway. But the good thing about this card is that it works in all formats and um, it is portable, it's going to be internal and it is cheap. Now, if you decide to go and get the 120 gig it's a bit more expensive normally you think that um, as you go higher the price comes down a little bit but for this card it's um it's actually better to buy two of these cards and um, you will save some maybe five dollar change but bottom line is 120 gig i'll put it on the screen 128 gig is about 118 um 64 is about 54 so if it times two, it's going to be like 108, which is less than, even though it's um, 64, 64, you got two uh, discs um, compared to the one disc still higher. Okay. Uh, I think it, that's about 10 bucks higher. So the 128 gig actually is a lot higher. And then the 256 gig, they have it in 256. They have it for about 200, you know, which is like, Nobody wants to pay that. That's already like a CFAST card, you know, unless you just want the convenience and just forget about it. So if you want to keep your expenses low, you might want to rock with one or two of these cards the, and then just transfer and use it again. Transfer and, and repeat. For me, I can rock with one or two because uh, I only want to use them for gimbal shots. If you buy the 128 gig or the 256 gig, it then becomes diminishing returns. So um, the 64 gig is the way to go. But then again, don't buy too many. Buy like one to maximum three, and you'll still be at uh, you'll still be you know saving some coins. Right now, I'm talking about SD card versus CFAS card. You know, and the SD card is winning at 64 gig. So there's hardly any 64 gig. Uh, see fast cards in the first place uh if you do find it you know it's slightly higher than this um but even if you get it at at 50 bucks they won't be able to record all the formats of this sd card so this is that's that's the point if if you really want to get um if you really want to get all the resolutions everything at three three to one compression um uh on the camera on the Cisco Pro, then you should you should get this card. 
I believe it, it will work on the um, Canon 8K and um, all the other, you know, uh, 6K and 8K cameras out there. I believe it, it should work on those. I haven't tested. They claim that it, it takes care of um, all um, uh, 6K and 8K resolutions, uh, but it didn't specify RAW. I discovered that it could take 6K RAW conveniently for my Blackmagic at all um, um, uh, codec and resolutions and you know compressions. So uh, you find out uh, about your um, 8K um, Canon 8K and uh, all the other 8Ks, uh, Sony 8K cameras um, out there. But for the 12K, the, the Blackmagic 12K, it didn't even recognize it. So don't go there. And I think this thing will really rock for the 4K camera though because um, the files will be a lot smaller. Yeah, the files is gonna be a lot smaller. So um, it will really be perfect for the 4K. But I'm rocking it anyway. And uh, it's it's been awesome for me. I, I have one um, Cinema Pro or so, um, uh, CFAS card that's uh, 128 gig. That's the only CFAS card I have because I pretty much use the external um, uh, SSD for most of my projects, one terabyte. So, um, but when I want to use, do gimbal stuff, I used to step down the compression so I can record on that uh, card at 6K. But with this SD card now, I don't have to do that. I can get the same quality, the highest quality, and I'll be good to go. So I just thought I should share this out with you. Uh, by the way, this is the card. <laughs> it just occurred to me that I haven't even shown you guys the card. It's from a company called Reed Gear Video Pro. For, it says 4K and 8K, 280 megabytes. Look, I don't know. I don't know what all this means. Um, I usually go for the 256 and, and all that, but this looks like it's lower. Um, I don't know how to calculate this stuff. You could go ask uh, Tony Day. Um, how come 280, um, 280 megabytes, you know? megabytes megabits tony day please explain but it works you know tested and tried it works on your 6k pro raw resolutions all and all um anybody tried it with the canon 8k or any of the 8k cameras yeah let us know in the comments below and um that that's it for today i just thought i should share this with you just in case you are looking for one simple little card that can do it all thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.